Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you something that I have been using off camera for a little while and that is a fountain pen. Now I've had this for a while. I actually got it as a gift probably a year or two ago from Goulet Pens and I tested it out and I actually had created a video of kind of like an unboxing and testing out these products and it was honestly so long and I had no idea what I was doing and I just did not ever post it. Um, and I think part of the reason I was hesitant to share is because I didn't want anyone to think that I was like coming as an expert on fountain pens. I am pretty new to fountain pens, especially back then, and I know that the fountain pen community is so fun and vibrant and active, and you all love your fountain pens. So I did not want anybody to think that I was coming on here telling you all how to do all the things with fountain pens, um, and so I think I was just really hesitant, and over the last little while, I have gone on even to try to find maybe some like really beginner friendly fountain pens. I think one of the things that intimidated me was filling it. And so I looked up um, maybe some fountain pens that had cartridges that you didn't have to fill them. And eventually I just started to try to spend more time practicing with the one that I had. And so recently I posted on Instagram a little clip, just like super casual. I hand lettered with a notebook sitting on my lap which I apologize, usually I do film at a sturdy desk, but it was just like a casual post that I put out and I was not wrong. You guys had a lot to say about fountain pens and you guys helped me out so much with kind of narrowing down what I should be looking for. And the question that I asked, of course, is this normal? Because I definitely have that going on um, when I am using a fountain pen. And so I thought that it would be fun to share this process so that maybe you can join in this fun conversation if you are somebody who loves fountain pens or if you've been curious about them or you just want to know more. I have so many questions about fountain pens. And so again, not an expert. This was a gift from Goulet Pens and they have a lot of videos on their YouTube channel. And so many people in the Instagram um, post commented about Goulet Pens as well. So they definitely seem like a great resource for you to go check out if you want like expert opinions on all things fountain pens. But for me, I personally just have a lot of questions myself. Like, will I ever be able to change my ink or do I just have to write this out until it's completely gone? Um, Cause I have this other ink over here, but I have an ink filled pen. So do you just continue writing? Cause I've been writing for, with this for a while and it still has a lot of ink in it. Do you just never change your colors or do you have to have multiple pens for different colors? Or is it better to use one that has a cartridge so you can like take it out and you don't have to have so many pen bodies? Um, if I address my Christmas cards with it, will the ink be okay? Or will it like be not okay if it gets wet? Um, are there different types of ink? Like I said, I have a couple, but they're the same brand, I believe. I also have some samples. Um, what about paper? I am using this Tomo River paper um, traveler's notebook that I got on Amazon, but should I get something else? Um, also, did you use one as a kid? Because I never considered having a kid use a fountain pen, but some people commented on my Instagram post that they actually used this in school when they were learning cursive, or I think somebody else said in third grade. So yeah, if you use this as a kid, I would be really curious to know like what the reasoning is. Um, just as a homeschool mom, I am wondering like, does it make writing in cursive easier or like why did you use this as a child if you did? Like I said, I just have a lot of questions. So if you are somebody who loves fountain pens, feel free to share in the comments um, what you think about any of these topics that I just rattled off. So as I got used to using this a little bit more, I've just been using it for like everyday writing. And I think that maybe before why I had a hard time getting into it is I think maybe I thought it was supposed to be like more fancy, like you use these specifically for some kind of script or hand lettering or brush lettering or something. I don't, I mean, I know it's not a brush, but this actually is a flex nib. So you do get a little bit of a very vari variation with your thick and thin strokes. It's not a lot though. So yeah, I don't really push a lot harder when I'm doing my downstrokes. I kind of just keep a more even, maybe just adding a tiny bit more pressure on my downstrokes, but honestly not a lot. But yeah, maybe I thought that you needed to write a little bit more fancy than like my to-do list, but I'm finding that I really like using it for just writing all the time. 
But now that I have realized how much I enjoy using this, it actually makes sense to me that I would really enjoy using a fountain pen because my love for hand lettering goes beyond calligraphy or brush script style of hand lettering. I have always really liked just making my handwriting look neat. I am the person who would like write something and then erase it and rewrite it again in middle school. Like that was me. And one of my favorite ways to hand letter is a monoline style of hand lettering. Now I know I said this is a slight flex nib and so I actually would like to get one that is just monoline. Um, and that leads me to another question. If you have favorite recommendations, especially beginner friendly, because I'm probably not going to spend like a hundred dollars on a pen when there's such a huge variation of amazing pens, I need to like understand probably what I like a little bit more before I invest in something like that. But if you have any um, recommendations for a not flex nib. I don't even know what it's called, but I would love to try one of those. So let me know what your favorite one is and hopefully I can test out one of those. But yes, I love monoline hand lettering. The Eloise is one of my favorite hand lettering worksheets that I've created and that is a monoline script hand lettering style. So again, if you have any recommendations or just anything that you want to share about fountain pens, please leave them in the comments below. I so appreciate your recommendations and your encouragement that it is apparently normal to always have ink right here. <laughs> One thing I probably assume is that if I held my pen at more of a grip like this, I wouldn't have that issue, but we know that I hold my pen um, resting on my ring finger, so that is probably why. But I also received a comment on Instagram to move my hand up the pen a little bit, so I will try that out and see if that helps. So if you are one of the people who is wondering on Instagram what ink I was using, this is the ink that I currently have in my fountain pen. And again, this was a gift from the Goulet Pen Company. And so I believe that these are still available on their website. I will link them below if I can find them. And this is a shimmer ink, it's called Frosted Orchid. And again, I would show it to you, but I'm not really sure <laughs> if I have to wait until I finish writing this one. I'm sure there's like a really simple solution one of you um, is going to share with me in the comments. And I'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. But for now, I'm not really sure what to do. So, all right, so here we have just a really simple lowercase alphabet. Here we have more of a, I don't know, casual, um, kind of like a script style. This is what I was saying is really similar to my Eloise hand lettering style of monoline worksheets. And this is just an uppercase print style. This one is what I would say is more my everyday handwriting style. I just connect a lot of letters together. It's not cursive. It's just a lot of letters kind of connected together. And then this one, I tried to attempt um, cursive if I've gotten a couple of letters wrong when it comes to like actual cursive. It's probably because I do so much brush calligraphy that sometimes I forget like if an L has a loop or not. So um, please forgive me if I have messed up on some of those. But I did find that it was pretty fast to write a cursive style of hand lettering with this pen. Um, especially not worrying about weighting those downstrokes. But I don't know, I'm curious to know if that is one reason why maybe people ha choose to use these pens. Does it make cursive a little bit easier or is that not the case? Um, what do you think if you have experience with that? And then another just larger style of print lowercase alphabet. So I just wanted to share a couple of different hand lettering styles that I was just testing this pen out with. And um, this is a paper that I have not been using more recently. I've been using a little bit thicker of a paper than this. Um, I grabbed this one to film this video, but I actually think maybe I kind of prefer my thicker paper that I was using. Um, let me know what you think about paper. If you like this thinner style of paper for these fountain pens or if you prefer something else. I know this video was not a tutorial or full of hand lettering tips, but I hope that you find it fun to kind of see a new style of writing if you have not tried a fountain pen before, or if you would like to share about your favorite fountain pens and inks and papers and things like that if you are somebody who loves using fountain pens. And thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.